What is going on guys? Welcome to the Florida series. I'm out here on a beautiful beach. <laughs> White sandy beach. This is amazing. Oh, it's so nice to be in the warmth. I've left my Appalachian home and have sought warmer areas because the fishing's been crummy <laughs> back where I've been. It's just been slow, slow winter fishing. So I thought I'd come down here and try Florida fishing for the first time. This is basically one of my first times ever in Florida. I was here once when I was a really little kid, don't remember much of the trip, and I don't really count that. So this is basically my first time officially in Florida, but I'm gonna do some fishing. It's probably like 75 degrees right now. It is Florida's winter, winter. You know, 75 in the morning isn't bad, but to them, that's actually nice and cool. So one of the things that does worry me just a tiny bit is I haven't seen many fishermen off this beach here. And I don't know if that's, just, I don't know why. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous that maybe the fishing's not as good, but you know what? I'll just have to cast a line out and see. And I'm just gonna be using bait the first day. So I have here my little rod holders. Like I have here some frozen shrimp and some cut bait. And so that kind of will allow, you know, like I could catch anything on that. Shout out to my cousin BJ who lives here part of the year. And uh, he actually showed us some stuff yesterday and I got these frozen shrimp from him. And uh, I actually fished for a little bit the other day and he showed me some spots. But that is a members only video. By the way, if you guys want to become members, it's only $1 a month. You get to see extra videos and get entered into monthly giveaways. But we've got a nice shrimp here from yesterday's fishing. And so I'm just going to put that on a hook. Shrimp is the most like, universal bait down here in Florida. And as the saying goes, when in Florida, do as the Floridians do. All right, guys, so I'm wading in the water here, and I just came out to the sandbar. This is like the first sandbar, and um, and then it drops off again right out there, and I was told to fish in between the sandbars. <gasps> guys, 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 a bunch of sand just got stirred up right in front of me. Oh, that's a good sign. That's kind of also scary because there are a lot of sharks around here. You know, I'm actually going to back up just a smidge. That has me a little nervous, to be honest. But there, there was just a big thing, a cloud of sand that got stirred up. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is nuts. Look at this. So check it out, it's half a minnow. It's literally been bitten in half and it's still partly alive. So we've got lots of game fish tearing, with teeth tearing around here, eating these little things. You know what, I'm gonna put that on a hook. Oh, something stole my bait. Well, that's perfect timing. So check it out. I've got the head of a minnow and the head of a shrimp on there. Kind of gruesome, but let's see if that gets anything. There we go, getting a bite, getting a bite. You guys see that? Got him. Got something, guys. Got something. Yes, first fish of the day. First fish of the day, yes. I don't think it's no little whiting or anything like that. Oh guys, guys, I see another fish, a big fish swimming around over there. While I'm fighting this one, there's a big brown fish. Oh, it's a little, oh my gosh, guys, it's a little hammerhead shark. It's a baby hammerhead shark. Look at that. That is so cool. A little tiny hammerhead. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so I have never caught one of these before. This is called, actually, it's a type of hammerhead. Same family, this is actually called a bonnet head. And let me show you. This is from the same family of hammerheads. This is actually called a bonnet head. You see how it's not quite like that hammer shaped? It's more, I don't know, just kind of round. Some people call them shovel heads, too. But it's from the same family. It's a little tiny hammerhead. It's a tiny shark. Baby shark, literally. Baby shark. All right, my friends. Just stick this little guy there. Hold on to it. There he. Whoa, whoa, there he goes. Right along the surface. That is so cool. 
other way. Other way. Hey, the other way, dude. Just keep going for shallower water. <laughs> Gotta grab him. Come here, you. Get up. Hey, hey, no, you don't. Yeah, the other way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey. You know, I'm gonna grab him. These waves might be too much for him. Let's put him farther out. He's he's kind of he's kind of really really small for these waves and stuff. Well, that was a cool first catch. I want to actually keep and eat one of those guys, but that was so tiny, like you just get a few mouthfuls off of a shark that small. But if we catch a bigger one, I'm gonna keep and eat it. Hey, you. You want a shrimp head? Yeah. You want a shrimp head? There you go. Guys, guys, I got something coming toward me. I don't know what that is. Wait, is that a ray? Guys, it's a little stingray. There's a little stingray right here. Can you see the brown? Oh, that is cool. It's a little baby one. That's really cool though. Nice. Oh, guys, got something. Oh, no, he's, is he off? I did have something. Yeah, no. What the? What is going? Wait, is something chasing this? Guys, something's chasing this. That's what it is. Getting a bite, getting a bite again. Come on, eat it. Have you eaten it? Eaten it yet? I'll let him eat it. Got him. Got him. Got something, guys. Yes. Something with a pretty strong tail. Might be another shark for all I know. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a catfish. And it's a it's a, one of those catfish that I can eat. It's called a flag top catfish or something like that. I cannot quite remember, but it is one I can eat because I ate one in Louisiana with my friends down there. So I believe this is called a gaff, gaff top, I think. Gaff top, flag top, something like that. But it has like wings. It's a catfish with really big fins. I'm gonna keep this guy, we're gonna eat him. All right, we got our first eaten fish of the day. There we go. And uh, I just need a rock now. Guys, guys, okay. So I, it's hard to find rocks on this beach, like big enough rocks. So I came walking over here. Check it out, there's a coconut. A little coconut. Huh. Look at all the coconut, all oh, big coconuts in that tree. Oh look, there's more over here. Oh my goodness, guys. I might be having some coconut with my fish. Can you? Oh look, look, there's water coming out of it. Oh my gosh, okay, cool, cool. I don't, when are coconuts ripe? Like when can you eat them? But see if this has water coming out of it. Guys, I just taste it, it's good. There's like good, good water in this. Huh, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna take this coconut. We're gonna take both these coconuts. I'm gonna use it to knock out the fish, and we might be having some coconut with our fish. This is cool. It'll be cool to see what else I can forage around here, because there are a lot of palm trees, and, and they have like orange trees down here in Florida. Who knows? You know what I'm gonna do, actually? Because it's so hot out here, guys, and I don't have a cooler with me, I forgot to buy a cooler, we're actually gonna fill this with water and keep them alive. All right, guys, so we've got some coconuts, we've got a catfish, and uh, yeah, that's really fun. Let's get the lines back out there. Guys, we got some dolphins out here. Look at that, you guys see that? Those are dolphins right there. Oh man, that's really neat. <laughs> what, did, what sound do dolphins make again? Oh, look at him. Oh, that's cool. They're so close. There's one right there. Oh, man. Ooh. 
Look at him just playing around out here. Just having fun. I wonder what they're doing. Look at this guy right here. Oh, that is so cool. That is... Oh my goodness. Guys, this is why you just got to come out here. You never know what could happen. You just got to go on adventures. And sometimes you're like, you know, I don't... You don't have a, have a specific plan. But you just got to come out here and start doing stuff. And you never know what can happen. So between the tide shifting and the dolphins around, the... Uh, the bite has died, so I'm gonna be done fishing for now. But look at this gorgeous coconut tree, palm tree here. It's palm tree. Look, it's just loaded, man. Just loaded with coconuts. I've already got a couple, but let's look around here, see if we can forge for some more before we start cooking up these fish. You know what? These are two of the biggest ones, and looks like, yeah, this one doesn't have anything that's fallen into it. Oh yeah, this one has lots of, I, I can just feel a lot of water in these two. Huh, you know, let's try one of these old ones. I can, I can hear water in this one too. All right guys, we're gonna try some green ones and we'll try this big brown one here. Don't know if, don't know what it'll be like. I'm total newbie, I'm just a tourist picking up some coconuts here. I do have my bicycle throw these in the basket actually. I have way too many coconuts. But uh, we're gonna bicycle now to the next spot. This little spot out. So I discovered this little spot when I was on a walk earlier. I thought it'd be a good place to cook up my catch. It kind of overlooks this like dirty little swamp area, but we're gonna keep an eye out for alligators or snakes. I've actually already seen a snake. I've been here big, it was like a five footer. So uh, I'm in the swamp, so we gotta be careful, but uh, I have a feeling we're pretty good at this little spot here. I'm excited to try. I'm more excited to try the coconuts, to be honest, than the uh, catfish. All right, my friends, let's fillet up this little catfish first. I'm actually gonna grab him with a cloth because he's got a lot of uh, really bad spikes there, and these spikes are uh, venomous. Was it venomous or poisonous? One of those two. I just got a couple small fillets and then check this out folks. I was in Walmart and I saw Buffalo Wild Wings Asian Zing Sauce and I thought I have to get some of that. I love Asian Zing. My favorite flavor on the menu. I'm going to marinate the fillets in this and I figured between marinating them in this stuff and deep frying, then deep frying them, this is going to be amazing. So I'm going to set that aside for now, let those marinate for a few minutes and let's tackle these coconuts. Got with me a machete, you know, because that's what most tourists carry around is a machete. And then I'm gonna, you know, with the smallest one, let's just straight it whack them open here, just to see. <laughs> Needs to be sharpened. You know, it has the saw on this side. So check that out. Not much flesh inside, but I think that's normal for new coconuts. You're mostly, with the green coconuts, you're going for the milk, or the water, whatever you call it, milk or water. And for these older ones, the, the mature coconuts, this actually has like stuff you can chew on. I can hear the water in this one though too. All right, so with this coconut here, since it doesn't have any splits or anything, it made a clean landing, I'm gonna try to like, cut the head of it off and preserve the milk inside and see if we can drink it. Ow, oh, shoot. Oh wait, just have to dig this out a tiny bit. Whoa, 
I shot unfortunately a bunch of juice out of there. Oh no, no, it's coming out the bottom. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Interesting. It just kind of split apart and all started to go everywhere. I mean, it's good. It's not, uh, I've heard it's nutritious and it's like, it's okay, but it's like kind of like semi sweet, kind of semi sweet water. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of fun. Actually really fun. All right. Should we tackle this big one? Well, actually, no, let's finish splitting open this little guy. Wasn't expecting it to just fly apart like that. So I've had coconuts before, but it's just I don't know when to pick them. Like, I think coconuts are really good. I don't know if this is going to be good, though. Okay, there's a piece of the inside. That's not going to taste good. It's too, like, huh. All right, so that was interesting. There was juice in that one. Let's check the big one. I wish I had a big rock around here. That's how I've split them open before. So you take a giant rock and you just smash it against other rocks, but we're in a swamp and there aren't any rocks. So this machete is going to have to do. Whew. There's part of the husk. We're almost to pay dirt here. Husk is coming off. There's the actual coconut right in there. You can hear it. So I gotta take a break from the coconut for a minute, folks. So we gotta cook the fish, otherwise, it's gonna start decomposing in this Florida heat. If you're an old subscriber, you're going, What the heck am I doing with this propane setup? And I brought my butane setup along with me, but when I went to all the stores around here, the butane was out. And so I had to buy this propane setup on backup. And what I'll probably do is give this away. Once I'm done using this video, I'll give this setup away in the next video. So I'm going to coat this fish in a little uh, Louisiana kitchen fish fry. Ooh, you know that your machete isn't sharp when it won't even cut a plastic bag. Mm. That's not a good look. Oh, there we go. It cut it. I'm going to put a thing of flour on this side. Add some salt to it because I'm a salty guy. And just put them in there, coat them nice and good. I think that Asian zing is going to impart a lot of flavor to both of these. Let's drop them right down there. Ooh, I love the sound of fish frying. I'm just going to manhandle this coconut. See that? It's looking more like, a little bit more like what you see in... There we go. Just manhandling this coconut now, folks. Look at that. It's looking more like what you see in the store. Oops. Oh. oh. Mayday. Mayday. I got carried away with the coconut, folks. <laughs> well, uh, I got carried away with the coconut and um, I burnt my fish. It's not too bad of a burn. Yeah, it's a bad burn. Never mind. <laughs> well, there's a lesson. Kids, don't cook and mess with a coconut. At the same time, and look that cool a second. Anyway, I was really excited because my coconut's coming along here. I'm gonna use that as kind of a handle. And then, there's a crack. Look at that. You guys see that crack coming all the way around? Oh, look, it formed all the way around. That is cool. All right. All right, here we go. Here's the big question. Is there something? Oh, I see white. Oh, yes. Look. And there's some, like, dirty... Ooh, it doesn't smell, it smells interesting, it doesn't smell bad. I mean, this looks really good. Kind of get out a piece there. 
Well, none of this turned out like I had envisioned. Let's try this coconut for No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save dessert for last. Let's try this burnt fish. Good knit. Okay, you know what, like that bite there is not too bad. Just, it's like the corners that are really burnt. Okay, no, that's, that's actually good. You know what it needs though? I can definitely taste the Asian zing. It just needs more Asian zing. Dip it in some of the sauce. Mm. Now that's actually good. But the thing that carries it <coughs> is the Asian zing, which is spicy, quite spicy, but delicious. Okay, the catfish actually turned out pretty good. I'll eat the rest of that in a second. I'm curious about this coconut. First bite of... It doesn't, to be honest, doesn't smell like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's bad. Hold on. Ah, Gatorade to the rescue. Yeah, that's, that's a bad coconut there, folks. It looks great, it looks appealing, but that is not a good coconut. I'm gonna take it as a sign from now on that if a coconut has like all of that, uh, that leading edge, like black stuff there, that that means it's rotting and it's no good because I've never seen that before. Well, my friends, the search for a good coconut goes on. The fish actually ended up turning out well even though I tried to burn the devil out of it. That's really good. We'll just have to come out here. There are a lot of coconut trees around here. I'll just have to try again. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.